I have been raised in the slum okay. of Namuongo, mm. so this is home, this is my hood. Yeah. I mean, this started, my, uh, I got a dream, mm. I got a vision yeah. uh, to uh, do something back for my community yeah. uh, back in 2019 wow. is when this dream came to me and I really felt like I could do it because I have the passion and uh, looking back in my community mm. uh, our community is uh, a slum mm. uh, now in a formal way we call them the informal settlements yeah uh, so Namongo is a slum and she has about 30,000 people mm. in there and uh, when you walk through you're going to find houses packed together yes now the population size hmm. is bigger than it's bigger the than area that. space <laughs> because I mean, yeah. how do you put 40,000 people in exactly. that slum? yeah lot. but that comes with a lot of challenges mm. and those challenges are some of the things that inspired me mm. to start what i am doing right now mm. hello everybody welcome and welcome back to another exciting video my name is harriet if it is your first time to drop into my channel thank you so much for dropping so in today's video we have amazing inspiring story from this amazing young man called ronnie uh, ronnie is one of the guys that actually i have known for quite a long time ago but he has a very inspiring story that i wanted to share with the world so that let people get to know what is happening yeah so the community that is supporting it's called namongo slums namongo has over a population of 30,000 people to 40,000 people wow that's really amazing so we're gonna be discovering what exactly ronnie does and how did he start did he make a rightful decision and is he happy and to tell you a little bit a background about uh uh, what I'm going to be doing today is, uh, first of all, Ronnie is uh, inspiring a lot of uh, young kids, uh, youth, uh, big people from the slums of uh, Kampala. Not only that, but he's doing a lot of activities that we're going to be, he's going to be sharing with us. Make sure you subscribe, you like, so that you don't miss out any of our amazing stories coming out from Uganda. Yeah, so we're going to be finding out everything from Ronnie. So join us in this uh, episode as we get to interact with Ronnie. Yeah, so Ronnie, welcome. Okay, so guys, let me welcome Ronnie. Welcome, Ronnie. Yes, Hi, so, Ronnie. hello, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Finally, I've made it. <laughs> Finally, you're here and it yeah. has been a couple of uh, times that we have talked online and yeah. you're finally, finally here now, here, physically, guys. in Namuongo, yeah. Yeah, yeah. at Touch the Slam. Yes. Yeah. So, tell us more about Touch the Slam. What is Touch the Slam? But before we go to Touch the Slam, mm -hmm. who is Ronnie? <laughs> well, <laughs> I would um, love to know. Yeah. Yeah, who is Ronnie? Yeah. Ronnie is my. It's a short form to mm. my name, Ronald. Mm. My full names are Ronald mm. Eligu. Mm. And of course, I have been raised in the slum okay. of Namuongo. Mm. So this is home. This is my hood. Mm. Namuongo slum is my hood. Yeah. I have been raised here. I have gone to school here. Mm. I have. I mean, done a lot of things here in the slum. Yeah. 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 So, Ronnie, what made you or what inspired you to do all these amazing things that, guys, you're about to see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm already shocked because, uh, like, is this the Ronnie that I knew? And when did he start this? How did he start? And, uh, oh my God, I can't even talk a lot, guys. So, Ronnie, tell us, uh, how did you start, start this? Mm -hmm. Great. Mm. Uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, um, I mean, this started, my, uh, I got a dream, mm. I got a vision yeah. uh, to uh, do something back for my community yeah. uh, back in 2019 wow. is when this dream came to me and I really felt like I could do it because I have the passion and uh, looking back in my community mm. uh, our community is uh, a slum mm. uh, now in a formal way we call them the informal settlements yeah uh, so Namongo is a slum and she has about 30,000 people mm. in there and uh, when you walk through you're going to find houses packed together yes now the population size mm. is bigger than it's bigger the than area that. space <laughs> because I mean, yeah. how do you put 40,000 people in exactly. that slum? yeah lot. but that comes with a lot of challenges mm. and those challenges are some of the things that inspired me mm. to start what i am doing right now mm. but just a little bit of life mm. in the slum mm. is that uh, the slum consists of about 70% uh, of young people yeah. below the ages of uh, 20 
and that's the biggest population. Mm -hmm. Now, when you walk down the slum, you're going to see a lot of young people, a lot of children, yeah. even on school days, mm -hmm. who are at the age of going to school, but then they're, they're not in school. Yeah. But then you'll find a lot of young girls and women between mm -hmm. the ages of 15 and mm -hmm. 20 and even above mm -hmm. on the streets. Yeah. Uh, most likely doing drugs, some of them are just there, mm -hmm. uh, unemployed, mm -hmm. and they have so many, many challenges, unemployment being one of them, but yeah. also teenage pregnancy, yes. uh, poverty, mm. and uh, drug addiction. And when you look through that, they all interconnect. Yes. Yes. So as a young person mm. who got an opportunity yeah. to get out of this particular situation, mm. I mean, it is very hard to live your dream when you live, when mm. you, you've been raised in the slum. Okay. But as a young person who yeah. got my... my um, <laughs> myself out mm. i felt like i need to go back mm. and lend a helping Do something. hand yeah one, of the the artists, yeah. yeah one of the artists here in uganda <laughs> said that candle loses nothing by lighting another candle hey. and wow. so i thought i would be <laughs> i'd lose nothing <laughs> if i try to use my passion yeah and of course uh get back to do something for mm. my community <laughs> forgive me this <laughs> <laughs> how yeah. old are you <laughs> uh, well i uh, i made 28 last year guys 28 yes. 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 yes yes 28 yeah, guys and yeah. is doing such amazing yeah. things you yeah. know tell us more activities that you do here at touch the slam well um now the activities that we do here are aligned mm. to address the challenges that we talked about remember mm. we said we have one teenage pregnancies yeah two we have poverty mm. and uh, we have a very big number of unemployed young people plus yes. high levels of illiteracy yes now all these are interconnected for mm. some of them because they are below the ages of 18 mm. but also now when you're raised by a teen mother yeah. who is unemployed mm. who doesn't have any source of income yeah. you're also going to become more like them exactly. because you're not going to go to school so yeah. you're going to become illiterate mm. so we have that cycle happening in mm. our community mm. so while that is happening in our community, I feel like we need to design activities mm. that uh, address challenges of the young people. Yes. And now, irrespective of the education background, mm. we designed a program okay. that helps them, one, mm. uh, get basic literacy mm. where they can express themselves easily in English mm. and also be able to read and write. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And then give them a couple of vocational skill set mm. that they can use to strive. Okay. So we designed it in a form that you go through the vocational scaling. Mm. After the vocational scaling, mm. you're going to do what we call um, uh, a digital literacy, okay. uh, which has a couple of courses that equip you mm. with uh, digital skills. Okay. Because the world is digital right now. Uh, so, Ronnie, yeah. seeing all these activities that you are doing, how do you do it and uh, where do you get the funding from? Because I've seen a lot of NGOs actually struggling. By the way, guys, he is the CEO of uh, Touch the Slam. So, seeing all these mega activities ongoing and everything is flowing so smoothly, how do you make it? <laughs> great. That's a great question. Uh, well, hey. just the Sam yeah. um, works with individual donors. Okay. Our programs are fully donor supported okay. and they're just driving towards sustainability. Mm. And of course, we are looking at uh, having more friends on board to yeah. support our programs exactly. because our vocational skilling program is free. Mm. Remember I told you many of the people that uh, are in our programs, many mm. of the young people mm. actually cannot afford the yeah, programs yeah. so our programs are donor supported and we give these skills for free mm. to the young people So I see uh, there are some of the students who have also graduated. Yes. And uh, how many students in 
general like a total uh, do you support uh, or have you supported or now every still supporting? great every cohort mm. takes about 75 students oh wow and nice. we are in the fifth cohort now okay. so i guess you can multiply <laughs> 75 times five yeah. and that's the number of impacts we have done mm. now mm. and we only take about 75 because that's our capacity for now okay. one because, because of, of limited, limited funding space. limited space mm. because when you have the money mm. then you have everything you, you can expand yes. Oh, yeah. yes. wow yes so that, that's that that's what nice. we are trying to uh, work on now mm. try to get more people on board get mm. more friends to come okay uh, so do you work. also support these women from the slum like to open up some businesses for them or do something for them for a living or do you support them in a kind of way well, what we do, we have, uh, like I said, we have a design program mm. where after vocational skilling program, we take them through a business training. Okay. After the business training, we mm. try as much as possible to guide them, start up small businesses mm. because we are trying to come up with a sustainability kind of life okay. to break the cycle that I talked about. Okay. So this is a very uh, wonderful a uh, program designed just for that to make okay. sure that they create their own sources of income okay. so yes we are helping and supporting young women mm. uh, start up small businesses to be able to sustain themselves and of course their families for you in your case you're giving free education for this uh uh, youth or teen mothers so basically let me ask you here in uganda a uh, vocational school can cost how much now um, if you want to educate a child in a vocational school depends on the mm. and the levels but mm. certificates can go up to around 400 to 500 thousand ugandan shillings, ugandan shillings. Okay. and then of course diplomas can go even up to a million shillings ugandan shillings okay but now to a family that earns less than a dollar a day mm. or <laughs> what do you expect them to afford yeah, this? No. <laughs> they cannot afford this. Yeah, they cannot. Yeah. So, uh, apart from uh, the business skills that you give them after they are done with their uh, vocational education, hmm. do you also give this, um, uh, the, the, I can say the graduates, something like the machines they can start with or something they can start with? But we would really love to do that okay. and it's part of our plans, mm. some of the things that we want to do mm. but at the moment we cannot do it because mm. one, I said we have a problem of limited funding for our projects, okay. for our programs. Mm. Uh, we cannot give everyone an okay. equipment to start with yeah. but who would love to do that and it's part of our goals. Okay. Yeah, so maybe when we have more friends joining mm. us, more yeah. friends supporting us, yeah. we are going to be able to help people start businesses, okay. uh, give them starting capital, give yeah. them uh, machines to start with, okay. which is something that we're dreaming. Okay. That's a vision, that's a feature we want to see. Good. Yeah. So which are the courses that they do here at this vocational uh, place? Well, mm. uh, we have about five courses okay. now. Mm. We have one, uh, hairdressing. Okay. Two, uh, uh, tailoring. Nice. That is basic fashion and mm. design. Okay. Uh, three, we have the computer skills. Okay. Four, we have um, the, the, mm. the photography and wow. videography. Wow. Then we have the business. Uh, business how is it called business entrepreneurship Inter entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship okay. something that we nice. do wow. yeah but all that uh, has a starting point mm. that we gave out as an extra course which is a literacy program okay. that teaches them how to read and write okay. English. Yeah. wow i'm really so grateful for yeah. you and what you're really doing here Thank you. a young man at uh, age of 28 years and is doing all this uh, mm -hmm. you know impacting the community uh, so ron what are, i know you have challenges yeah. <laughs> because you can't run a big organization like this at that uh, young age and mm. you don't have challenges and yeah. everything has challenges so what are the challenges that you face uh, running this NGO mm. there's so many challenges that come with <laughs> running an yeah. NGO I know one, uh, some of them are very technical yeah uh, but at our level one mm. uh, Finances. finances and why would i say financial challenges mm -hmm. uh the top notch because finances are more like the engine yeah. of running these yeah. activities I know. and mm -hmm. when uh, 
tell you about that is that some people mm -hmm. will not even trust you to give them to give you their money yes because one they look at you as a young person yeah. and you cannot they feel yeah, like yeah. you're not going to you're you not going to use it rightfully yeah uh, the, um, so you sometimes don't even get the grants the mm -hmm. donations I know people have to come and check on you physically to make sure that yeah yeah which is okay yes uh, because you know why some people don't uh, trust because there are a lot of things that have been going on, on. yeah internet mm. out internet mm. so people People are being scammed, mm -hmm. so they feel like maybe this person is talking truth or it's not talking truth. So they they feel it nice when they come to the ground and they see exactly what you are doing. But yeah, guys, what he's doing is real. It's really real, and um, I'm so grateful. And if you are watching this video right now, please uh, you can check out uh, their NGO check out their page i'm gonna link it in the description box down below please come and support them anything that you can give to their ngo it will add you can sponsor a kid you can do anything you can buy a machine for them you can buy a computer whatever you feel like that here yeah, you can support their ngo it will add something you know a little <laughs> no matter you have in in your heart it's out of the heart you know that you can support ronnie you know that's amazing <laughs> yeah because yes. I, I believe every single drop has an impact yeah yeah so whether you donate mm. a computer mm. one dollar yeah. you donate material yes. you donate a sewing machine mm. you come down here give your time yeah uh, you you do Play whatever with kids yeah. also visit yes. the slum we're also going to show you the slum guys yes. how the community looks like the community where they support they get people whom they are supporting you know where mm. these people really come from you know yeah so we're gonna show you everything so ronnie we check on the activities that you guys are doing <laughs> mm -hmm. let me show you Welcome, around guys yeah so, you guys come around let me show you yeah so first this is our reception here okay uh, so when you come touch the slam this is the first place you're going to get to wow People are having lunch. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I'm not <Yeah>. welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. So we have Betty here. Yeah, okay. uh, she's uh, here at the reception. Mm. We have we have mm. Thank a you. team here. A yeah. team of editors. Oh, so these are editors. Th these are all our students, but okay. now they are pros. They are oh, editors. Wow. Yeah, so like you can see here, mm. maybe the camera guys can show you. Okay. Uh, now when you look at this board here, you're going to see that we have Mm. Uh, hairdressing morning session mm. has today has eight mm. uh, eight a hairdressing evening yesterday mm. they had eight okay. tailoring morning seven mm. tailoring evening I said there were five but mm. we have up to around seven mm. literacy we had 17 students okay. doing literacy program okay. uh, we have the media mm. we have four students mm. we have the computer class doing computer skills we have seven students mm. the evening there are four we have the daycare mm. this is a more wow. like takes care of the, the, the babies that belong to okay. our teen mothers. Mm. We have five babies, we have 18 staff. Mm. Uh, so here. you have a nursery school here? No, it's not a nursery school, it's like a daycare okay, where a if you come with your baby, you okay. can keep them there. Okay. So we have the Endoto Coop. Uh, these guys are, <coughs> uh, they make stuff for sale. Okay. Uh, like, mm. uh, crafts like crafts? Like crafts? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So nice. it's more like a coop. Okay. Yeah, so. Uh, they, <laughs> food. <laughs> they, people are having food. <laughs> yeah. Food. We have a very small office here. Oh, so this is. So these setup. are some of the funders, supporters. Oh. oh yes, yes. These are some of our visitors. Visited mm. us. This was in 2019. Okay. And when you look at our wall of fame, okay. we have some of the the newspapers that mm. came out during COVID. Okay. We have some of these writings about me. Okay. Wow. Here. Nice. Yeah. So. Wow. Ah, this is our small Welcome office here. Office. <laughs> yeah, so in the office here we have Santa. I like the office, how it is organized. Hi, Santa. So this is Santa. Santa is doing our finance. Okay. He, she has a colleague who has traveled on some assignment. Mm. This is where I sit. Okay, wow, yeah, nice. This is where I, sit. I love the way how the office is organized, <laughs> the files over there. Uh -huh. Wow, nice. So then we have this. Uh, mm. this, so these are some of the graduates? This, this was uh, some of the gradu graduation ceremonies. It was the first one we had. Mm. We have had up to four graduations now. Oh, wow. Uh, young girls doing different, different skills. Nice. Yes. Then we have this here. Mm. Ah, this here is our computer lab. Okay. It's not more like fully equipped. Mm. 
it's not fully equipped, but mm -hmm. we want to make sure that uh, it is we advance it a little bit. Yeah. So if you have a computer that you want to donate. Yeah. How many staff do you have? We have about 27 staff 27 here. 27 staff? So uh, Justin here is one of our staff. Yeah. He does the computer Hi, pricing. Justin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we have Patrick, one of the students in the media class. Ah. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> He's already here for his classes. Yes, and nice. then we have this here. Mm. Uh, is there a light himself? <laughs> uh, uh, we have someone in the clinic, but this is our okay. clinic here. So you have a clinic too? Yes. Wow. So nice. this, this clinic here um, mm -hmm. offers free... Uh, uh, services yeah, okay. to our mm. teen girls. Okay. Yeah. So Msao here. This is Msao Brenda. Msao, how Brenda? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice. You're doing a great job. Yeah. So this see. one also, like I said, our services are free, but they're mm. not really free because they're donor supported. Yeah. Yeah. So when so the, all the support that we get helps mm. us to restock medicine here. Yeah. yeah. So this is our clinic. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Hello. Msao. So mm. let me take you to mm. where we do our vocational training okay. from. Oh, wow. Guys, this is amazing. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Fine. You're fine? Mm. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Josh, Josh, one of our media students. Okay. He did his media course from here okay. in training okay so we have yes. oh it's lunch time like lunch people are chilling before they go in for the next classes I eh? see. <laughs> hello Hi. how are you Hi. you are how fine are you? hello wow. we are here to take your lunch <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Thank, thank you how are you Ooh. it's lunch time <laughs> oh my oh my Everyone is busy, busy. I can yeah. see everyone is really busy. <laughs> so this is one of our classes. Mm. This, this is um, mm. the advanced tailoring class. Mm. We are currently making our gowns. Who has some of the gowns that are ready? Oh, you make even gowns? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Graduation gowns for our next graduation. Oh, the next graduation. I can see this one. Yes. Ooh. So, so we are making Ooh. these from here. Ooh. Guys, you see? We make, we make These guys are really doing amazing. You can see when they are... The way how they have made this is really nice, you know? Yes. Very nice. So we have nice. gowns, really. Uh, we can see we have... Ours are special because we have a special touch of uh, Chitengi on them. Oh, yeah. You have African Print fabric. on them. Mm. This makes them very, very nice. And, and unique. And unique wow. from all other graduation gowns. Yeah. So we make them from here. Mm. We make our own graduation gowns. So everyone has to put on... A graduation gown. Nice. Yes, so we have teacher which Margaret. Which one is complete? Which one is complete? I think this is complete. Is this complete? Mm. Yeah. This, is, this is complete. If you want to graduate, you can, <laughs> can come and buy from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really nice, guys. Yeah, so it's really nice. Those know? are made from here mm. and by our people, our girls. Mm. They make those. Yeah. Yeah. So we have uh, four teachers this uh, this side. Okay. Five? There are five, right? Five teachers, teacher Margaret. Oh, hi, teacher Margaret. <laughs> uh, teacher Linda here. Hi, teacher Linda. <laughs> uh huh. Then we have teacher uh, Beatrice. Hi, teacher Beatrice. Wow. Teacher Gloria. Hi, teacher Gloria. Ah, yeah, so, you have amazing stuff. Yes. Yeah. So guys are here. Mm. This, these are these are the Indoto team. Mm. I don't know what they are. What have you made? So these guys make theirs for. What what is this? For what? So for the chef. For the chef. Eh? Oh, wow. So these guys make theirs to sell. Eh? Okay. But the other challenge I told you is mm. that we don't have money to give everyone to buy a machine. Okay. But we have some machines set aside for them to make their own stuff and sell. Okay. And so, so we don't have to charge them. Yes. Okay. So this team is making that. Then we have the basic tailoring here. Okay. Wow, so this class mm. here is uh, the basic. They start from here before they head out to the other side. Okay. This class here is uh, a basic, they start from here before they end the other side. Yeah. What's your name? Who? Adiamo. Adiamo. How are you? What's your name? Adiamo. 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 Adiam
The apron. The apron. Yeah. yeah. So that's so basically this is what you do. That's what you do. There's one more class. I need to show you. We have the hairdressing class here. Yeah. I think I should come and learn how to play there. Now the morning session is done and the boy then we clean the class so after the session. Like I told you we have a problem with the space. So what time is it? We should make sure you can teach. Hi, teach your mother. You know who you're talking to? Lava. That's one of the things I have to do. So, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh-huh. Ah, welcome back guys. Welcome back from that tour. <laughs> yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that tour. Oh my god, I am so overblown by everything I have seen over there. Ronnie, you have shocked me. <laughs> I'm even out of words. So guys yeah, sorry about the congestion because like mm. we said the place no, is okay. pretty small yeah. and Mm. Uh, yeah, the future is to maybe have a bigger space where yeah. they can all interact freely and yeah, yeah, but that's what we're doing right yeah. now. Yeah. Guys, this guy is really doing amazing things. I am really shocked by whatever I have seen over there. So we have come to the end of our video and please, if you're watching this video, no matter where you're watching from, which country, please, um, this is what he's doing is impacting the community is helping the most vulnerable from the slums of namongo yeah guys is really doing amazing so if you would love to support them i'm gonna leave everything in the description please uh get in touch with him you can come and support them and check check what they are doing you know it's always better to come to the ground and see mm -hmm. the real things looking at the community everything is really so 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 depressing guys it's <laughs> depressing <laughs> i'm not joking i'm not joking guys but when you go to the community you really see and you even feel like i'm in a better place mm -hmm. i can say yeah but you can support ronnie and the team they are really doing amazing whatever you can whatever you feel like you can donate to them it will make a difference in the lives of these most vulnerable people in the slums of uh, Namongo. So, Roni, what do you have to say to the people before we sign out? <laughs> uh, great. Thank you so much, our wonderful people. Thank yeah. you so much for keeping up on this channel. Yeah. I am really grateful that Harriet is here. Yeah. I am Thank so happy <laughs> that you are giving us a helping hand to yeah. show our story, yeah. to bring our story closer to people's doorsteps, yeah. <laughs> and to, of course, uh, give us an opportunity to make new friends. Mm. 
like I said, our programs are donor supported and we cannot do this alone. Yeah. We do it with the support from you guys, yes. from you, our friends yeah. that uh, have been generous enough to make sure that our programs keep running. Yeah. So thank you so much. Check the links <laughs> in her description. In my description. And yeah. please, they also have a YouTube channel. It's called Touch the, the Slam Uganda. Yes. Is it Touch the Slam? Touch the Slam Uganda. Okay, Touch the, the Slam, Slam Uganda. Uganda. So you go and check out their channel, subscribe and see a lot of activities that they are doing over there. Yeah, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Until again next time. Muy valeño. Muy valeño. Muy valeño. Dala, dala. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.